about a charity called Music for Children, where they train up young people with DJing and music production, and basically give them a bit of inspiration and motivation. So we're going to go in and talk to some of the people who work here and who give the workshops. Let's go inside. So I'm here with Clary, the chairman of Music for Children. We're going to have a quick chat about the charity. So how long have you been on the chairman for the charity for? This is uh, maybe two years now, yes. Okay, and was that when the um, charity was first established two years ago? No, it's been running about seven years now. Um, it was been single-handedly run almost by Oz Bailden, who was the founder. What's the main sort of objective of Music for Children? What do they try and do to help young people? We do a lot of workshops for local children, all free mainly in performing arts, as in uh, we have the DJ group school, we have uh, dance classes out the back which are very popular. We, we try and, we're trying to fill as much of the time as we can, free for the local community, mainly aimed at children. So Simon, I believe you're involved with um, fundraising and also um, training with the workshops with the young people? That's right, yes. Um, yeah, involved in Music for Children have been probably for about two years now. Uh, we started running uh, Groove School, which is a children's DJ and music workshop. And through that, I met Oz and the whole Music for Children team got involved in the World's Highest Gig. For the month of May this year, we went to, uh, went to Nepal, Kathmandu, and then embarked on a sort of two and a half week trek up to Mirror Peak Mountain, which is at 6,600 metres. And uh, we carried a whole load of music equipment to the top of the mountain and performed a gig at the top. Welcome to the world's highest gig, Mark Two. <laughs> things do you show them? It's a whole real spectrum of, of dance music so everything from turntable turntables um, to, to mixing to producing records to teach them how to run a radio show really the whole spectrum across all areas of dance music. Okay, this is quite a quirky urban little area you've got the right mix of stuff here where do you get all this stuff from? Uh, most of the furniture is sort of recycled or donated but we use local street artists to do all this stuff. Okay, so right now we are in the future studio, which doesn't exist yet. So. Yeah, we're looking for funding. We're going to turn this into a recording studio so that the Groove School guys upstairs that you met um, can come down here and do more music production. It's hard to imagine it now, but this is going to be a state-of-the-art recording studio. Right? So what's going on inside there? We're very proud of this. This is um, a community-based radio station. Mm -hmm. You can check it out, Urban Jazz Radio. Um, we, local people from the community come in, volunteer. We teach them how to be DJs. Anybody that wants to volunteer, they want to do a show, then we teach them how to do it. Paul gives them a little course on how all the equipment works, and he just lets them go with it. So you've shown us around and um, got quite an idea of what you need to do and what's been done. You've got loads of great stuff happening, but you do need some money, especially for the this production studio over there. Always need money, always need money. The orphanage always needs money. The more money we get, the more the longer we can keep it open. Our website is www.musicforchildren.org. That's great. Thank you so much for talking to us today. That's okay. Thanks very much for coming along.